What's going on everybody? Jonathan Rohana here. Welcome back to the Passion Blade YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a full walk around on my 2008 Suzuki SV650 SFA that's going to be meeting its end this week and getting parted out from motopartsource.com. Now I know at the beginning of this year I did mention that I was going to be doing a full restoration on this bike but unfortunately I have way too many projects on my hands and this is the one that has to go. So uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a full breakdown on the cool parts that are on this bike today and its current running condition. So without further ado, let's get today's video started. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a breakdown on what this bike is. This is a 2008 Suzuki SV650 SFA. SF standing for full fairing, meaning that it has an upper and lower fairings on it, and A standing for ABS. So this is an ABS specific model, so it does have some ABS specific parts on it. Uh, if you guys don't know which parts those would be, check out my video in the link in the description below. I just made a video showing you guys the differences between an ABS model and a non-ABS model. But uh, first thing we're gonna show you guys is the running condition of this bike. It is in excellent running condition. As you can see, fuel pump priming up has 49,782 miles currently and fires up immediately. Give you guys a couple little revs. God, I love the way that M4 sounds. It sounds so good. A couple little more revs. I love that M4 system. But as you guys can see though, this bike is in excellent running condition. Uh, she shifts through all the gears and rides real nice as well. Uh, let me go ahead and shut that off. Actually, before I shut this off, real quick, wanted to show you guys. Previous owner actually integrated the front turn signals into the headlights. So it has the uh, the front uh, turn signals into the, uh, the headlight assembly. So that's pretty cool. Also, uh, rear tail, as you can see, has been deleted by the previous owner. And they made these little LED strips back here for their turn signals. Not a big fan of how sloppy this looks, but it is what it is. So let me go ahead and shut this bike off. Bam. And uh, other than that, let's talk performance parts on this thing. So obviously, you guys can see it does have the M4 slip-on exhaust system, which sounds absolutely fantastic. I have a video with uh, comparing the M4 to the Yoshimura. I'll link that in the description below as well if you guys want to see that so you guys can actually hear with a with a better microphone how this exhaust system sounds uh, in all of its entirety. But other than that though, performance wise, we got the M4 slip on. We have the GSXR complete front end on it. Um, that's ranging from the upper and lower triple trees. The clip-ons, master cylinder coming down. Obviously, we got the forks, front fender which does have a little damage on the other side. And then we have these calipers right here, which are actually not GSXR. These are actually, I believe, off of an R1 or R6. Not too sure. And um, also has these stainless braided lines as well. So beautiful front end right here. Way better uh, looking than the standard front end that comes on these bikes, but it is what it is. So um, other than that, performance wise, we got a Canon drop-in filter, which those are always nice to get on your bikes as well. And the last thing performance wise is the Kawasaki ZX14R rear shock. Don't know how well you guys can see that. Definitely needs to be cleaned up because she is dirty, but uh, cool assembly. Uh, I'm gonna be selling actually that uh, rear shock assembly with the GSXR front end as a full suspension kit for these bikes. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check out my website, www.motopartsource.com. All these parts will be available this Friday. Now, other than that, as you guys can see, this is a full fairing model. The front upper fairing does have a little bit of damage to it from a previous owner dropping it. And uh, the lower fairings off of it will not be sold. These will actually be kept for my current bike and I will have these paint matched next year to match my bike and uh, install those on there so I can revert my bike back to an SF model. Also the rear seat delete with these little infills will be kept for my bike too because I'm a little selfish guys, sorry. <laughs> but other than that though guys uh this is a beautiful bike i absolutely love it i'm super sad to see it go but my business is motopartsource.com where i specialize in providing high quality used parts for the sv650 and sv1000 community so this bike will definitely go back to the community and help a lot of other SV owners keep their bikes on the road. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Also, smash that subscribe button. We are almost up to 2,000 subscribers. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you then. Peace.